after so long I have the fitment that I sort of want. I don't know if I want to put more camera or not. I might. Yeah, so for right now, I have... So right now, I have two spacers, a 20 millimeter and a quarter inch. I might just round that off to 30 and add the amount of camber I need to compensate for that because I'm already pretty close. I think that should be good. These are nine and a halfs up front with a plus 17 offset and 225, 40, 19. And I love them. They raised my car basically like indirectly because I am probably like an inch off the ground more. I might go lower, I'm just not sure yet. So you guys probably clicked on this video because you want to know how to measure your wheel properly. I had a very difficult time with this because I thought you measured the whole width of the wheel this whole entire time. And that's why I had such a problem finding the right tire that would help me get the fitment that I would like. These in particular, they are 19 by 8.5 plus 17 offset, which is really weak for a G. Some people even run 10.5 up front. I'm running 9.5 right now. If you guys saw the last video, you can see how my fitment is right now. I think it looks pretty decent. I might change it up a little later. I don't know. But measuring your wheel isn't that straightforward. It's it's not it's not hard, it's just not what you would think. Moving along to actually measuring the wheel. As you can see, it measures out to nine and a half. That's what I initially thought it was. How you actually measure the width of the wheel is you measure from the bead right here, like the edge of the lip kind of, and to the other bead, which is the inner portion of the slip and it turns out to be right on eight and a half which is correct so another thing you need to take into consideration is that the diameter of the whole wheel is going to be different than the actual the given number for the diameter this is a 19 inch but the diameter ends up being 20 and a half inches which is an inch and a half off so as you can see it's not really accurate just measuring the width and diameter of the wheel you actually have to go between the beads and just take into consideration that this is not like maybe an inch and a half bigger than what you expect it to be when dealing with fitment this plays a large part in picking your size wheel see how the and seeing how the wheel would fit on your actual car. I think this would really help you guys because I didn't know this information beforehand and it costed me quite a lot of money. What I'm gonna be doing with these wheels is re-lipping it. Measuring the lip is pretty similar to how you actually measure the width of the wheel. So you start, I would say start at the bead and end off at the middle of where the silicone ends which is about three and a half. So my lip is three and a half inches right now. And my fronts on my car right now are four inches. Since I want a 10 and a half wheel and this is an eight and a half, I would have to add about two inches of lip to this wheel. Therefore making this a five and a half inch lip once it's on. The difference between the front and the rears, which is going to be this, is going to be an inch and a half, which is kind of more than I would like. I would like an inch or half an inch, but nothing you could really do. Same thing goes with measuring the barrels. Just measure from the bead and at where the silicone is. I hope this helped whether you're relipping your wheels or trying to make your wheels fit. I will go further into detail on fitment. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.